We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to The Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're continuing with our closed beta coverage of New World. And, well, we did a whole bunch of kind of starting stuff in the last episodic episode, or I suppose in the first episodic episode, and now we are going to be doing some more stuff. We could continue to fish, we could do a whole bunch of different things if we wanted to, but that is neither here nor there. We're just going to basically go through, do some more quests, just kind of show you guys a, a little bit of a taste of what is on offer here. He is going to go and do a Battelle. And it's fine. He's allowed to do a Battelle. I exchanged a little bit of uh, flesh there with our compatriot. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and read that. I'm going to head over here and... Uh, there it is, we got ourselves a stockpile of supplies. And we are going to utilize, and we'll do all this leveling up stuff soon. Ooh, we got a musket, that's not bad. Is there any uh, items down there? Nope. Aha. And, you know, just taking down some mariners here and there, you know, like, like you do. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could press F3 to fish if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. He missed me. All right, so pretty pretty basic stuff, right? Dodge out of the way, do some murder, death, killing, killing, death, murder. It's fine. It works. It's sweet, sweet, nice styles with a Z, but. There are some semi-occasional good and or bad things that can happen. Let's go see what's inside this ship, shall we? Well, the correct answer is yes. Yes, we shall. Ah. And I was able to double hit them there. I'll soak the damage. That's cool. I've got no problem with that. Now, I don't know that we can necessarily climb up this. Probably can. It actually looks like we can. I don't see any... Treasure loot hanging out around the back side of this place. So that's good. And we're just going to eh, climb through the uh, wood there. It's no big deal. All right, let's do some leveling up and uh, junk and stuff. So we're going to hit K. It's going to bring up stat points. Every time we level up, I believe we get a couple of stat points that we can throw out there. And one of the cool things is it shows you sort of what each stat is going to do. So constitution, health, at a glance, right? This is focus, it's all about life staff. Then intelligence is about the fire staff, the ice gauntlet, the rapier, and somehow the musket. I don't really know how the musket plays into that, but it's fine. And then you see here for dexterity items, it's spear, musket, rapier, bow, hatchet, and sword and shield. And then you have sword and shield, great axe, warhammer, hatchet, and spear. Well, you guys already know where I'm going to probably end up going with my stuff, and that is, of course, toward that great axe. So, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of that. It's kind of sad that none of the ranged weapons is strength, but, I mean, it also makes sense, right? Commit the six points, we get some leveling rewards, apparently. At level five, we get our second weapon slot. We get a survivalist quest camp tier upgrade. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we'll eventually unlock as we go. Also, we can hit K again, and we can go to character weapon mastery. Our sword and shield is ready to have a little bit more fun. We can get a shield bash, and we will. Now when we hit R, we can also do shield bash. And then if we hit M, we can open up the map, but then we have a territory standing point. Each of these various different areas, the longer you do stuff inside of them, the more points that you get that will essentially benefit you as you go. So the first uh, things up on our to-do list here is standing gain, experience gain, or gathering speed. So I always like to gain a bit more experience when I'm around, so that's going to be what we go with here. All right, we must return back from whence we came, and I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to return back this way. Again, I feel like uh, the movement, a little bit slow. 
overall, it'd be nice to be able to go either run a little faster or like many folks have suggested. And of course you have the people who are like, no, it would make the world too small. The, the, you know, or as I call them, the idiots, uh, mounts of some sort would be nice, but all that the same, it's not really that critical. You can get around. There is some fast travel stuff and so on and so forth. So like I said, it's not that important. It's just one of those things that'd be nice. A little shield bash there. There we go. I don't think the captain likes me very much. Ow. He stabbed me through my, my, my shield attack, or my, uh, my range there that I thought I had on him. How dare you, sir. Sorry, I, w I was attempting uh, some stuff that was clearly not working. I was trying to hit him with a with a quick uh, shield bash there, the R, but the, the cooldown on the skills are quite lengthy, I find. Like 15 and 20 seconds for a skill. It feels a bit long, especially considering you can move from one person to the next, to the next, to the next, you know. It's, it's all about, like, fluid combat and motion and all this other stuff. So it feels a little a little weird that the cooldowns are so long. But at the same time, I guess I also sort of get it. I am going to take on the Drowned Mariner here. And it looks like that's also a stun, which is pretty cool. Alright, there's something 226 that way. We're going to head over here. I'm going to take on the Drowned Sailor. Down he goes. Another Drowned Sailor coming over here to hang out. We should probably eat some food up at some point because right now we are lacking in the food category. I.e. the healing has not really come in, into play for us. But... Again, utilizing our skills at the right time and the right place. Yeah, it's all kind of working. I'd like to keep my eyes open, oops, for any extra treasure loot and not walk off of something there. That was, uh, that was a slight mistake on my part. Mm, yes. Alright, we got one of the ship's flags. And I think I am going to go ahead, I'm going to press 3 here to eat some Om Nom Grubbity Grub. I'll give you a hand. You got a friend behind you, man. There you go. How's he? He's just like standing over there doing nothing randomly. All right, supply stockpile. Good old Eodrin. I decided to give me a hand there. Good for him. Cool, I fell on the, the side of this place and I completely missed my uh my my goal there. Oh, loot some flint arrows. Alright, now it's time to go get the other flag off the front or I guess the back of the ship now. And should put us pretty close to our level five. We have to go back and talk to charity, so I'm gonna actually drop down and do some more murder death killing. Until, until I'm able to level up, and then we'll go back and talk with good old Charity. Here, hold this. Wrong button. I keep hitting E instead of R, by the way. It's fine, just not the right thing. We can purchase an upgrade here. Oh, I don't think any of that's good. You know what? Sure, let's get some additional physical armor. That that feels that feels okay. Did oh uh, well, no that hmm. This guy seems upset. Hold on, let's deal with him first. Boop. All right, so what's going on? I hit K, and it does say weapon mastery, and I can do this. I have one point available, but I go to do that, and it doesn't let me commit it. Why is that? 
I have to go with uh, an actual ability? Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, defiant Stance. For 8 seconds, reduce the incoming base damage of attacks. Well, I guess we're going to try that. I, I don't feel like that was any lighter than any of the other attacks that they hit me with. I'm just saying, that felt pretty hardy to me. Alright, a few more folk. Is there any uh, loot that we can get? Oh, it seems like we, we are actually able to do some damage there, too. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, calm down. Oh, I tried to roll. Looks like we've upset a fair few folk. A little quick uh, bash upside the noggin, and down you go. And it looks like only just a couple more murder death kills here, and we'll be uh, we'll be fine. Oh, he recovered way quicker than I anticipated. Uh, actually, it's like three. It looks like at this point. I honestly should just be blocking instead of always trying to dodge roll. Man, they just. See, th this is one of those things that I I'd like to see change. If I roll up on you and I'm hitting you in the back, you should be staggered as long as I'm swinging. You should not be able just to be like, turn around and immediately swing on me while I'm hitting you. That doesn't feel good, you know? That, that feels like there should be something that's like hurting them or disrupting them a little bit because of this, but there really isn't. All right, I uh, don't need anything there, but we can go back here to get some more of our stats up. With the two points, we got our leveling rewards, second, and all right. So now when we go and we take a look at our inventory, we have our second slot available. 109, 116, all right. And we also need to go ahead and throw these into the ammo side of things. I might as well put this here. Guess I decide to use the bow and arrow. Once I get back, I'll have it. And I can switch between it with one and two. I think Q or E. Nope, just one and two. I think you can... Nope, can't even roll the mouse wheel. All right, well, I'm just going to tell you all the wrong stuff, I suppose. And you see right in the middle of your screen there, it shows you how much ammo you have with the gun. And yes, everything does require ammo. I feel like I hit that guy, but it's okay. They do move pretty quickly. And you can hip fire if you need to. So there we go. It took us sh six shots to shoot him down, but six shots to shoot him down. Uh, six shots to shoot him down, but we did eventually take him out, which is great. And it looks like our quest turn in place is back this way. So we're gonna switch back over to our sword and board, and if we run into anybody else, we'll take him down. And there's a beam of light shining bright coming from I don't know. The fire shooting up into the sky. I, I believe that is our actual target. That's where we're going. We're fully healed. And we got like 15 minutes of well-fed healing buff, I think is what that thing in the middle means. So, good times for us, probably. I'm going to take a look to see if we can craft anything new now. This is still mostly about uh, tools and, of course, like rations and things. Uh, later on, we'll find other workbenches and stuff That's that we'll nice. be able to use. A fair amount of records, I'd say. Yeah, I did. The Monarch's Bluff Settlement keeps all this. It's a kind of memorial, I guess. Cool. Sweet. All right, so we got ourselves a treated wood bow. Yep. I know you're probably wanting to head up to the settlement yourself soon. I promise. I won't keep you too much longer. It is nice to have company, though. What else do you need? I can't leave until I'm sure that any corruption down here has been dealt with. You can probably tell I don't actually savor this kind of thing. I was wondering, maybe you could help me out? Uh-huh. What do you need? I know the corruption that remains is coming from the sea cave. Turtle spit, we call it. Lovely. If you could go in there and just deal with it, it would make my day. But do... Be careful. Do be careful, really loud. All right, I accept your quest. I'll go deal with your turtle spit problem. 
I'll, I'll look into it, as uh, as they say. So uh, real quick, I think I kind of want to turn up vocals volume because I feel like they're a little bit on the quiet side. All right, maybe we'll murk a pig along the way because they happen to just be here, and uh, you know we get we get hungry, we get snacky. Sometimes we just need to eat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop up this boar, and then we're going to continue on toward the spit of the turtle. Well, I spit of the turtle. All right, and boom. Okay. So eventually, I will be able to go into town and make myself some amazing, amazing things. Let's get some more hemp while we're here. Because we might as well. Alright. We got ourselves some fiber. What was that? Let's just say a young tree. We might as well chop down a young tree too. Can't let it grow up and, you know, take over the, the area. And we get some of those weird things that are hanging off of it. They seem to be alive and moving, actually. Alright. To turtle spit we go. And hopefully everything at turtle spit's gonna be fine and the world's gonna be happy. Alright, you see right here there's some corruption going on. It's not great. Uh, finding our way in is pretty easy because this is where everybody's heading. So uh, you guys realize there's people behind you, right? Ow. Here, hold this. Oh, hush. What are you attacking? There's no one over there. I mean, they hurt a little bit. Alright, into this place. You missed me. I win. Alright, so it looks like over this way is actually our objective. Is there anything to be lootable and had over in these other areas? I don't see anything. So I'm going to try to skirt past some of the ba big bads here. Uh, 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 eh. No. Alright. And here's the veil. We must peek through the veil. Wow. The veil is stronger than one might expect. All right, you get the idea. And hiya, I've I've seen through the veil, and it is glorious and, and icky, definitely icky. I'm getting kind of an icky vibe. What is this? this is it like a half dude walking around? Oh hey, here's the big boss. What's up, man? I should probably move away from that. Hit you both with a little bit of knowledge. Switch over. Shoot him in the face. Roll back. Roll back again. Shoot him in the chest. Boom. Headshot. Alright, we're going to switch back to our sword and board. And we're going to queue it up. Attack, attack, and press R or E or whatever the button was. And we defeated him. We took some hits. It was not a flawless victory on our part at all, but it worked out well enough. And there's treasure loot to be had. A weapons chest. Very nice. Can we get lucky enough to score ourselves a battle axe? Yes, we can. Very nice. Now, the last time I did this, I did not get a battle axe. All I got was a stinky old spear. So we are going to get rid of our shield because we no longer need it. And we got ourselves a battle axe. And it is time. Now granted we've lost all of our additional skills now because we no longer are using the weapon that we kind of had mastery with. So if we wanted to stick around here and keep beating stuff up, we absolutely could. Or we could not do that and just continue on our adventure and our ways and curbs and stuff. 
I am going to come up here and loot this, though. I saw something shining bright. We got some old hardtack. So some more rub dub grub. Now, you can still block with a two-handed weapon. And I believe it still blocks all damage. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. We can, we can test it, I guess. Well, let's get our way out of here. It would work if people didn't exploit everything. I poop myself. Help, please. Oh, boy. Well, I'm definitely... What did you say to me? No. Wait, what? How did I miss? Okay, I definitely missed that time. There we go. All right. Let's slap him. I win. All right, let's go hit this guy and then steal his uh, goods. Sorry, drowned quartermaster. Oh, we got the shield. All right, we got our great axe mastery up. So we get our first skill with the great axe. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. That's why I was a bit more eager, we'll say, to charge in and to start hitting things. Now, I would probably run, so there's a, a thing that we haven't looked at yet, and we'll look at it here in a minute. But if I were to... Are you going to chuck that at me? You are, but you're going to miss, because you weren't really aiming at me, I don't think. Reaper... Uh, you know, let's go with the Mauler this time around. I think I went Reaper last time. Uh, we'll look at it after we get out of this cave. But essentially... Essentially, there is a pretty cool... Um, way they they deal with look at uh, i don't know uh classify like your your weight and how much armor you have and all that stuff how does one get out of here i believe it's back this way yes it is back this way all right so we'll take a look at that after we clear out the uh thing here ah oh, the other one got just out of range there we go. All right. Oh, and there's some loot to be had. Give me that, please. Okay, so we've made it out. So let's go take a look at our inventory again. So right now we're clearly running with really, really light equipment, right? We got really light armor, nothing super heavy on us. There's some plate gauntlets, some leather gloves. I'll put the leather gloves on because why not? Now, if we take a look up here, the equipment load, it's a pretty interesting way to do things. All of them have some advantages, which is nice. So the combined weight of uh, your equipped armor, shield, weapons, and so on and so forth uh, determines your equip load. Actually, it says armor and shield. It doesn't say anything about weapon. Each equip load offers a unique dodge and other bonuses. So while you're wearing your light armor, your dodge is a quick roll that covers a lot of distance, and you deal 20% additional damage. Being someone who wants to wield a two-handed axe and chop people to bits, this seems to be probably the preferred method for me. However, medium isn't too, too bad. While wearing medium weight armor, your dodge is a quick hop. You deal 10% bonus damage, and crowd control debuffs you apply last 10% longer. Okay. And finally, wearing heavy armor, your dodge is a slow sidestep. Your block stability is increased by 15%, and your crowd control debuffs you apply will last 20% longer. So it's not like light is the best and uh, heavy is the worst. They all have their own different variants. So if you're going to be a sword and board, a tank, so to speak, you're going to want to wear heavy armor. And it's going to, you know, allow you to kind of wade into combat, take a bit of extra damage and hits while blocking or what have you, and it's all going to be fine. I like the fact that they decided to break it out this way. I think that's a pretty clever thing. And if you want to be a high damage dealing person, you know, you wear lighter armor, you're able to pull that off. However, soloing might be a little bit more difficult unless you're really good at dodging and, and working your block. Like, it's got some nuance, and I think that's pretty cool. Destroyed. I did. It wasn't Turtle Spit. Yep, I did that. Oh, saints be praised. That's a relief. Seriously, if we left some source of corruption down here, it would spread all over Monarch's bluffs in a matter of days. All right, well, we'll complete the quest. Wherever you came from, they must be pretty tough there. I sure. mean... You're hardly here an hour, and you're already cleansing corruption. That's pretty impressive, I'd say. Where does the corruption come from? Where does it go? Oh, gosh, I'm not the person to ask. Some people think they have the answer. 
Or so they say. Maybe a dark part of a person's soul. Or maybe some evil disease that takes over the mind. I just know it's not pretty. Indeed. All right, well, I'm glad I could help. The thing is, even with the source of corruption gone, this is still a really bad sign. One of us needs to take word back to the Monarch's Bluff settlement. We need to warn them. All right, well, which do you prefer? Sit around or to go? I prefer we go back together. But it's my duty to mm. stay. You go. Take this message to Constable Seville. We've been worried about corruption surging like this for a long time. All right, I can do that. Thank you for uh, the opportunity to do some work. I like the axe uh, weapon removal. I think that's pretty cool. You whip it out and spin it around. You're like... And you're ready to go. I think that's pretty sweet. Anyway, ladies and gentle folk, it looks like our trek to... Oh, it wants us to open the map. Uh, okay, why does it want me to open the map? Oh, I, I have to go up to Monarchs and Bluffs. That's fine. Uh, so we're going to be heading that way to Monarchs Bluffs in the, uh, the next episode. And before we do that, let's go ahead and do our level up. So just one more into strength, one more into constitution. And how close are we to our next level of weapon mastery? Oh, did I did I apply? Axe. Um, well, we're pretty close. We are pretty close on that front. Anyway, folks, in the next episode, will probably be the last episode of the closed beta coverage. I'll be heading over to Monarch's Bluffs, and I will be attempting to get inside, kind of show you what the town is like, and just do some random quests there, show you all the different, oh, I suppose, work benches and stations. They'll, they'll kind of give us a tour of the town type situation, so, yeah, it should be fun. Anyway, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stick around the channel. Like I said, there's going to be at least one more of these episodic episodes to give you guys a bit more of a taste of what New World has to offer. And then when the game fully releases, maybe you guys get your hands on it. Yeah, you'll play it. I might attempt to do that as well. I, I don't know. Like I said, doing MMOs is one of those things that's a, a bit of a time sink that I don't just generally have a lot of time to do. But I, I will say that I do enjoy playing MMOs. So it's very possible. Maybe we'll give this one a shot. Either way, folks, until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.